Hey guys, George at Soundtracks here, and this week we're going to go back to basics a little bit, and we're going to talk just simply about setting volume controls, how to do it, and what you can do with it. So let's get started. Now once you take your Tsunami 2 and you get it installed, one of the first things you're going to do is turn on the track power, and you're going to hear the sounds. Now all of the sounds have been pre-mixed, which means the volume settings have been set at about what we think they should be. But there's other factors that come into play, such as the type of locomotive that you're working on. Uh, for example, in a diesel, if you have air conditioning unit or not, you want to have independent control of some of those background sounds. In the case of a steam locomotive, you may not want to hear Fireman Fred turning wrenches or using the pneumatic grease gun. So the benefit of using Tsunami 2 is that not only do you have a master volume setting, but you also have individual volume settings for every single sound effect. And those are set in CVs 129 through 160. CV 128 is your master volume, and the way this works is 0 to 255 equals 0 to 100 percent of the volume. So when you take these, and let's say for example, we're going to turn the volume down. So I'm going to take CV 128, and we're going to set it to a value of 50 and you're going to instantly hear that volume go down. Now we promote what's called scale sound and scale sound means if I was seeing the real locomotive and it was that far away from me to look that small how much would you really hear? In this case this allows you to turn the volume down to a more realistic tone so you can be in a room full of locomotives and it's not overpowering. Now you can adjust the master volume for your own liking so again I can take CV128 and we're going to set it to a value of 127 or about 50 percent. Now you can hear that volume go up. Now again every single sound effect has its own volume control so when I blow the whistle you can hear that volume. Now when I change CV129 in this case we're going to take that down to a value of 50. Again 0 to 255 is your range. So now when I blow the whistle you can hear how much quieter that is. And again, I can take CV129. I'm going to set it up to about 150, which will be just a little bit above halfway. So we have a much louder effect. Same thing with the bell. And the bell is done on CV130. So again, I can take CV130, and we're going to set it to a value of 50 as well. You can hear that bell get quieter. I can take CV 130 and we can set it to a value of 128 which again is about halfway. And you can hear how that bell volume changes. Now the advantages of making these changes on the main line is that you can instantly hear those changes when you're sending your programming commands. Now remember you're not changing every locomotive on the layout just the one that's set in your throttle. So you can do this without worry that you're going to reset your entire layout's volume levels. So now that we've played around with this a little bit, this gives you the ability to adjust the locomotive for your taste. Now, for those of you guys who have a smartphone, there are a lot of apps out there that you can load onto your smartphone that are decibel meters, basically measuring the volume. And you can use these at a predetermined distance away from your locomotive and so that that way you can adjust the volume levels to match either a club standard or your own personal taste so that they all match about the same. Usually these are free so be sure to check out the App Store or Google Play and find out which one is best for you. Now one other feature we have built into the decoder is an alternate volume mixer and these are set in CVs 2.289 through 2.320 and this is basically a second set of volumes that you can adjust and fine tune. Now you can enable this alternate volume mixer by setting a function button, usually an unused button like function 28, so that when you're at home, you can have a lower set of volumes when you're at a home environment, a small layout, and then when you get to that club or that public display, you can leave the volumes up at full blast. Now for more information, please visit our website at Soundtracks.com and check out the user's guide for more detailed information on how you can set the volumes on your layout.